Good evening, I'm Jeremy Maskell. Keeping the beat and overcoming violence weeks after a homicide at the slowdown in North Downtown, one Omaha City Council member is using his talents to bring the community together for a very special show. KETV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich is live there with the big story at 10. Jeremy, the show is just winding down. We can hear the music and the cheers from inside. The headliner is on stage right now. It was a two man show, and it was a free show for anyone who wanted to come. And for the slowdown, this is a step toward normalcy. Of all the bands to play the stage at the slowdown, only this one has a city council member on the drums. As a council member and as a musician, we came up with the idea to have a free show for the community and look forward to doing that tonight and having some fun. For about the past year, Pete Fasterson has played drums for Glen Hollow. I know Pete's in the band, but I guess he's been outed now. Everyone knows that Pete's in a band. Friday night show is a special one for the members. We caught up with them during their sound check. After a homicide on Halloween night at the slowdown took the life of 28-year-old Jamar Fields, Festerson says he wanted to do something. This is a night to celebrate. This is a music venue, and this is a great operation and a safe place to see a show. The slowdown has had dozens of shows in the seven weeks since Halloween night. But as things return to normal here, police are still working to solve the case. I think everyone would like the closure and like for it to it to be over. I mean, the, I get that question all the time. Is it over? Have they found the person? So this show is both a statement and a plea. A plea that if you know something, say something. And a statement about this city and about this venue. We all think about it, yet try not to think about it sort of thing. So it's good to kind of get back to some sort of normal and get back to what we do here and have fun and, and, and see shows. Now, Omaha police say they know that there are still people out there with cell phone video of what happened that night. And if you know anything and if you ha or if you have any of that video, they urge you to come forward. You can call Crime Stoppers at 402-444-STOP. You can remain anonymous. You can even upload that video anonymously, and you could get a $25,000 reward. Reporting live, Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7.